we're adding these daily. Good morning. I am so glad you're here. Take a moment to place your hands at your heart. Set your intention to have a loving practice of nourishment towards yourself and to listen to anything that needs more attention and honor it with modifications or if you feel like it challenged you more. Take one more inhale. This is your practice. This is your time. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, lift your arms up. A little bit of an extension. Good. On the exhale, bring your hands down through the floor. Let your feet go back. You're in a high push-up right now. Bend your elbows and take an inhale to go into an up dog and enjoy. If you need to modify, just get into a sphinx. Otherwise, energize your legs, open up your heart, inhale. Now exhale, lift up your hips. You can add a push-up and a downward dog. Now bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the other. Bend and bend. And right and left. Now both up and both down. Inhale and exhale. That's it feels so good. Now both heels lower. Hold five, four, three, two. And then look up at your hands. Now step or jump up. Halfway up. Now inhale, go all the way up. Beautiful little back bend here. Exhale, bend the knees, bring your hands to the floor, let your feet go back. And bend your elbows, take an inhale and an up dog. Now, if you need to do a sphinx, please do. If you need to get rid of parts of these um, vinyasas, because it's hard to get into the position, just meet us in down dog. Inhale, lift your hips. You can add a push up, down dog. So we're gonna release any neck tension. You might even shake your head a moment. And we're gonna lift up both heels and lower. Lift up both heels and lower. Lift up both heels and lower. Hold the heels. Five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, come up to your hands, halfway up, long spine. Now, with your blood pressure in mind, keep your uh, blood pressure happy. Go into a back bend. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Come down to the floor again. Remember, if you need to avoid some of these moves, then just go into the down dog. Inhale. Up dog here. Look over your shoulder one way. Feels so good on the front body. Look over your shoulder the other. And looking forward. Now lift your hips. You can add a push up. Down dog, left foot pushes on the right heel for a little bit of a calf stretch. Isolated on the right side, sit bone lifts. Left foot down, right heel presses on the left. Both heels. And coming up. Now halfway up position. This is like a table. Let your blood pressure adjust. Go into a back bend. Inhale, lift. Now on the exhale, go over to one side. Half moon. Keep both arms up for a moment if you can. Five. Oh, Ellen and Cheryl, you guys look adorable. I'm so, you guys are so cute together doing a half moon towards each other, like two little bookends. Oh, come up, exhale, go over. Oh, that should feel so good. Keep reaching like someone's pulling your arms. We are gonna add on to this, just keep pulling, inhale, like someone's pulling your arms up and over. Now go up and bring that hand down. Now take the left foot over your foot if you want. Now if that's too hard, just leave your feet flat. Reach, reach, reach. Add a rotation towards the floor, towards the sky, towards the floor, towards the sky. One more time. And hold five. 
Feel the breath get even bigger as you're here. It's expanding. Three. Now go up and let your foot down, go over. Now the hand comes down, the right foot over. Now rotation, open. Now you're breathing into this whole uh, rib cage, a little uh, more on the side that's getting stretched if you can. Let the exhale release tension, reach, reach, reach. The whole side of your body. Now take an inhale, coming up, beautiful. The feet are about in line with the hips. So take an exhale to come down. The palms can come together. Now add an exhale to rotate. You're gonna keep your thighs in the same place. Your right palm can push more into the left palm to open up your rib cage. Five, four, three, two, now take an inhale, face front. Here we go, exhale. If you need a break, just come into a standing position. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then arms up, hands to your heart. Take a moment and take the right arm up and behind. Now, good, grab water anytime you need it. Left arm out, feel your ribs pull down, pull your pubic bone, pull up and hold. You may stay here or you may add on. Right foot pushing into your hand. Oops, keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. That's how I am this morning, Shireen. It's okay. Three, just a little harder to hold balance, too. So if you're having one of those mornings, it's just fine. At least we're here. We're practicing hands to the heart. We're gonna go over to the other side, reach, 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 hold on to your left foot, right palm out, and hold. So what you're doing is pretty vertical at this moment. Your ribs are down and your pubic bone is up. If you'd like to add on, push your foot into your hand. Good. Press 10, 9, 8. And let the breath be full here too. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Inhale. Exhale, come back, let your feet be underneath. Your hands can come to your heart. It's a great way just to get your mind, body, breath back into alignment. Now we're gonna take an inhale. On the exhale, you can step or jump out, okay? Inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, interlace the fingers if they will. If not, just let them hang and hold onto your elbows and hold. This is Prasarita Padasana. Spread out wide angle pose. Hold. Five, four, three, two, inhale, 
and then exhale. Now bring your hands down to the floor underneath your shoulders and in between your feet. Inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, go down again. Pull on the floor to get a little traction. Shake out your neck if you need to. Five. Four. Three. two, and one. And we're gonna walk out just a little, it's like down dog, you're doing hammock pose, your arms are in front, now you press your hips back and keep your toes towards each other like a inter, little internal rotation. Hold here. Five. Four. Three, two, walk it back in. Now take both hands to the hip bones and come up halfway. Now, once you feel blood pressure has settled, push into your feet. It's going to help power you up. Listen to your blood pressure though. Hands go to the rear elbow, squeeze, heart lifts. This is such a good thoracic extension. Inhale. Open up those arms, five-pointed star, bend the right knee. Now we are gonna take a little sweep, like a rainbow is, uh, we're painting a rainbow, we're following a rainbow. Now we're doing this with the power of our legs as well. You're gonna try to maintain that thigh position, 90 degrees at the knee. You're welcome to go a little lower if you want. This is your class. So I'll just demo if you're going lower. Of course, I'm near the wall. So I'm going to bend my elbow a little bit, but you can keep yours long. And exhale, two. Good. You see how you can get lower if you're feeling okay in this uh, hamstring. You want to make sure there's no pulling around that sit bone. Now, the next time that you're up with a vertical spine, open up your palms. Majestically look over that right middle finger, shoulder blades down the back, and hold. Five. four, three, two, take an inhale. Now on the exhale, the hand comes back to the thigh, the right arm goes up. Now pressing into that leg, breathing, five, four, three, Two. Now let this forearm come to your thigh. Take that arm over. Now, some of you might want to go lower. So if you're going to go lower, your hand can go to the floor. Yeah, five. I'm going to demonstrate a couple fun things you can do here. Left arm back. You can even wrap. And then press, hold, straighten up, open up. Now your left toes are now facing the other way. Your left knee is at 90 degrees. This thigh tends to want to jump forward. You want to rotate it back, go over and clean. Like you're sweeping a beautiful rainbow. You can see all the colors. Your left knee's on top of your heel. You may go a little lower. Right knee is long. Good. Now the next time that we're going to do one more, the next time that your spine is vertical, we're going to hold. So extend your palms, face the sky, look majestically over that middle finger and hold. Careful that left knee. It, it sometimes wants to travel. So you can look down and see your big toe at any moment. Act like someone's playing tug of war with your arms. And let's go back. We'll go back here. Five. Four. Three, eyes are soft. 
two. And coming up. Arm down, arm over. Now you can also take your foot, your hand down. Take another inhale. And then as you're exhaling, coming back up. Five pointed star, inhale. Now we can take the interlaced finger position or put your palms together in a prayer pose. That's harder. So if you need to do that other one, you can just hold on to the elbows underneath your, um, when your hands are low, you can just let them dangle like spaghetti or you could do reverse namaste or interlace fingers. Five, four, three, two. Now power up halfway, you're a table. Go all the way, you're in a back bend. Come into vertical, arms out. Now we're gonna step the left foot to the right. One motion if you can. You got it, there you go, good. Now you can stay here if you don't like the vinyasa or you can do a vinyasa, inhale, exhale, come down, your feet go back. Now you're in a high plank. That's another place you could just stay for a moment. Bend the elbows and take an up dog, inhale. Now on the exhale, you can curl your toes, lift your hips, down dog, and press your heels down. Inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale the right foot forward to your hands and go back and forth. So if you didn't do the vinyasa, you can also just meet us here. It's like a little lunge. You're bending the right knee and then you're straightening it. You don't have to straighten it totally. You're just getting blood flow in the hamstring and the psoas. Right leg, left leg. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. Now pull the left foot in a couple of inches. The right knee is going to be at 90 degrees. Inhale, lift the arms up. Heart lifts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up that left heel now and send it further back, okay? If you'd like to add on, take your palms together and rotate your left elbow on the outside of that right thigh and press palms. Five, Four, three, two, and then one. Face front, inhale the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down, shift your right foot back. Now you can also just meet us, otherwise we're gonna do an up dog, we're gonna do a little vinyasa, but if you just need to meet us in the lunge, you can. Lift your hips out of push up, down dog, now your left leg's going to go up and three-legged dog. Your left foot's going to come forward and then we're going to go back and forth. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Heart open. You're going to feel the hamstring and the hip flexor. Now the right foot's going to come in about two inches. The feet are in line with the respective hip bone. The arms come up. Warrior one. Rib pull down, pubic bone pulls up. 
strong arms, soft gaze. Inhale. Now, as you exhale, palms together, hook the elbow on the outside, add a press. Good, upper back, five, four, three, two. Good, inhale. On your exhale, face front. Exhale, bring your hands down. Let your left foot back. You're in a plank. Hold, five, four, three, two. Elbows bend, up dog, inhale. Exhale, lift. Add a push up, down dog, and pause. Sit bones lift, hands spread, knees lengthen, heels press. Your feet are, are flat, the toes are not death gripping. The toes have space between them. Look up at the hands. Step or jump up like you're a cat landing. Inhale, come up, back bend. Exhale, palms at the heart. Samasitihi, bouncing the mind body breath. Lift up the toes and spread them down again. Inhale, the right foot comes up to your calf or to your inner thigh. Inhale. On the exhale, your foot pushes in your thigh, your thigh pushes back, lift the arms. Arms rise, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then add on an arm position if you'd like. Add a stretch, hand pass, left arms up and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring your hands to your heart, take an inhale. As you exhale, lower that foot down, samasitihi. Lift and spread your toes. Let the toes be flat on the floor with no death gripping and no wrinkling. Left foot comes up to your calf or your inner thigh. Now your foot's gonna push into your leg and your leg's gonna push back. We're gonna take an inhale all the way up and lift. Jawline parallel to the floor, your gaze is soft. All these little cues about the breath and the gaze there and the hands are helpful for nervous and nervous system. So we're creating a place of calm. You can get strong while keeping your nervous system calm. Now, as you're ready, your top hand, your left hand's going to bend, your right arm's going to come up the back side. Keep lifting, keep that soft gaze, relax the mouth. Take another inhale. As you're ready, exhale. And let the hands come back to your heart at first. Thumbs touch the heart. And on your exhale, lower your left foot down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Lifting up your feet. Inhale, both arms up. Lifting up your toes and then lowering your toes, sitting down. You can stay here or you can take this right thigh once or twice around your lower leg. You can take the right arm underneath and hook the palms. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, inhale, exhale to stand, your hands come to the heart, let the blood pressure equalize, we just had a seven joints locked here, sit down in a chair, left thigh over the right, toes hook, now the left arm could go under, Ten. Nine, eight, seven, hips steer forward, six, five, breath goes all the way to the upper back, four, three, two, standing up, lowering the feet, hands come to the heart, take a moment here, we'll take a, a seated pigeon, arms up, sit down now you're welcome to stay here this may be what you need especially if you have any hip issues going on or you can take right thigh or right uh ankle to left thigh palms come in here we go sitting 10 good nine eight soften the gaze so your neck is free of congestion five four three two, inhale, now on the exhale, standing up, hands at the heart, feet down, arms up, sitting, left ankle to right thigh, palms together, sitting, neck soften. seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, on your exhale, gently stand, beautiful, now you're welcome to stay here, we are going to do a vinyasa, so when you're ready, lift up your arms, sit in the chair, Hands come down, feet go back. Your feet are in a plank position. Bend the elbows, take an inhale to go into an up dog. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Center, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Center, and inhale, head neutral. Lift your hips out of push up. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. And then exhale the left foot forward. Now, just for a moment, take an inhale. You're going to come up. Get ready to take flight. You can stay here or if you can lift up. I got to move from the wall. You can go into warrior three. Ten. Energize your body parallel to the floor. Nine. Whoa. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now left foot four feet deep. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Let the feet go back. Bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog. Lift the hips out of push up, down dog. Now the left leg goes up. Exhale the left foot forward. We're going to inhale till the left knee is about 90 degrees. Take a moment. Now, this is where we add on a balance. Hinge forward. Some of us might be in a diagonal, or you can lift in a diagonal or parallel to the floor. Your gaze will change. It's probably going to be a foot in front of your left foot now, or a foot and a half. Reach. We'll look at you. Good. Energize that back knee long. 
Upper back is long, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring that foot four feet deep, inhale, exhale, bring your hands down, bring your left foot back, bend the elbows, up dog, lift your hips, add a push up, good, I like the modification of the cat and cow, heels press, five, four, three, two, and inhale. On the exhale, step or jump up to your hands, halfway position. Now let the blood pressure adjust. Inhale, and on the exhale, go all the way up. Take a back bend, inhale, and exhale. Hands come together at the heart. Take an inhale, lift both arms up. Now lift up both heels and balance across all the toes. Each toe has equal weight. Your knees are long and they're soft. Hold five, your shoulders are, are down the back even though your arms are reaching up. Hold four, the breath is calm. Hold three, hold two. Take another inhale and on your exhale, lower that foot down, hand to the heart. Now lift and spread your toes. Take a tree pose like we did earlier, or we're gonna possibly add on, this is up to you. So here's tree, pause here. If you would like to add on two fingers of your right foot hand, go to your two fingers of your big toe. Most of us are gonna stay in tree. You may put your left hand on your hip and pause. You may extend a little. Some of you may extend a lot. 10. You can see this is a hard pose for me. So I'm deliberately doing it. So you see that your focus is whatever the intention is of the pose. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I've got a bent knee. I'm doing my best. And just do your best without pain. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, you're lowering that down. Let your breath come back. Now the inhale prepares us. The exhale brings the left foot. I'll offer tree pose again. This is the same that you did earlier, but maybe with your hands at the heart to be very centered, calm determination. Now, if you're adding on, inhale. On the exhale, the left two fingers go to your big toe. The inhale lengthens your spine. Good. You could add on. The right knee is long. I like it. Lifting up. Four. Three. Two. Take another inhale. Lowering that foot down on the floor. Hands come back, good. Arms up, sitting down. Pause. If you can, lift up both heels and balance across the toes and hold 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Lower the heels, palms together, stand up for a moment. Let blood pressure settle. We're gonna add a wrap, feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit. This may be what all you do. I'm gonna offer a couple of wraps. The left arm could go between the thighs and your right arm can hook behind and maybe your fingers touch. It doesn't really matter if they touch or not. It's more that you have a gentle stretch in the upper back. Now, this officially is done with the hand on the outside of that thigh and you wrap, but don't force anything. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Open up. Now we did a wrap. The, the modification is right hand. This is where most of us are probably gonna be between the left arms up and maybe that's enough. Maybe you bend your left elbow and you grab your hand. Maybe you wrap. Five, four, three, two, and inhale, exhale, face front, stand up, hands. We're going into a down dog, inhale, lift, exhale, hands come down. Now, if you need to go straight to down dog, please do. If you'd like to do a vinyasa, we're in a plank, bend the elbows, up dog, lift your hips out of push up, down dog. Hold here, left foot pushes on the right heel, isolating that calf, five, four, three, two, and then the left foot comes down, the right foot comes on the left, five, four, three, two, and then both heels down, Shift your weight, side plank. You can be on your elbow. You can put your left foot on a calf or a tree. Good. Some of you might wanna grab the toes and straighten. Haha, -ha, that's not straighten. Five, <laughs> four, three. Yeah, you can just do plank. Two, side plank becomes front plank. Front plank becomes the other side, tree pose or you could do that toe and lift. Five, four, three, two. Lower that down, you're in plank, elbows bend, up dog and lift the hips out of push up. down dog. Pause. We're gonna take one called Mandukasana, the frog. Let your knees down. The back up plan for frog is to do bound angle and you can roll your mat in. I am gonna be moving my camera. So if you need to move yours, please do. Otherwise just meet us in the Mandukasana, the frog. And this is a good chance if you need a sip to take a sip. Good. Like what I see. Good for you. Good. Yep. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale, gently come up, pull your legs more in together. I'm going to take a moment to readjust the mat down dog. Now there is a posture that I'm offering called pigeon. If pigeon's not for you, then a great one to do is lying on your back and doing 
uh, figure four. But at this moment, if you'd like to take pigeon, your right leg comes up in three-legged dog. Your exhale brings your right thigh forward. Now I'm gonna turn to you a little bit. Yeah, your upper back. And I like to just move a little right and left here. Officially, the posture cues are that your hips are level to the floor, but it's nice just to see what's going on there. There's deep, six deep external rotators. And that leg now can probably move further back. This, this leg, it always, it always loosens up a little bit for me when I just settle in. So rocking is soothing on the nervous system. You've probably done it intuitively when you've been dysregulated. So it's not like we're dysregulated now, but it does help calm the system. So if shoulders are down the back, you can close the eyes or soften the gaze. All these little cues are helping the nervous system, the muscles, the activity between the mind, the right and left side of the brain, I mean. Take an inhale. Now, as you exhale, it's almost like you're putting down a beautiful string of pearls. You're lengthening as you roll down. The arms could be like a pillow underneath your forehead, but you can also experiment with stretching them out and relax. We're going to take an inhale to come up. And if you're in a figure four pose, you might like to roll your ankles here. If you're in a pigeon, you might like to try your foot holding or, yeah, and Karen, that's great. Sometimes just walking over to one side or the other helps, yeah. Inhale. I like it. Exhale. These back toes are going to curl under. Now you're in a, a down dog or you're just switching legs. And Karen, you're welcome to do figure four here, right ankle to left thigh, or if you prefer the bound angle, that's fine. It's all hip opening. Inhale, the other leg comes up. Exhale, the left thigh goes forward. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, see, lift up, shoulders. Now it's okay to rock a little. Your knee should be happy here though. It's never worth it to bypass any signals from your from your body. If it's giving you a one out of 10 pain signal, then it's come out or adjust something. Um, one cue is to put the pinky towards your uh, shin on the bottom leg, on this leg. So pinky kind of everts, that activates the peroneal so that you have a little safety in the knee, a little more. Now exhale, put that beautiful string of pearls down. You may like the forearms to hold you. You may stretch out. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, start coming up. Now, you may stay here. If you're in another stretch, you might move your ankles. Maybe you'll grab your foot. You can just have a little, uh -huh, a little uh, fun, something different. I like it. Yeah, just have fun. Yeah, neck could soften. Maybe you're doing a quad stretch. I like that, Karen. Yeah, maybe put your elbows down. There you go. One, one uh, theme in the postures is you see how uh, little work you can do in it. In other words, you're not powering every single muscle and contracting it. You're letting go of some tension. Inhale. 
Now on your exhale, that little toes, those little toes go back and take it down dog. Now it's really nice just to walk it out right and left, right and left, right and left. Now we're going to come into plank. If you prefer, you can be on the elbows. I am going to do, this is just one of my favorite postures. So right hand is going to be the side plank. If you want to add on, your left foot goes behind you and you take a maldrasada. Hold, five, four, three, two, exhale. We're going to take it to the other side. Right foot and goes back. Five, four, three, two. Inhale and exhale. Plank. Lower yourself and hands ahead of you. Lift up. Cobra or a shoulder blade down the back, swan, hold, belly lifts up, 10, there you go, neck is soft, shake it out if you're not sure, very good, I just love these, pull the belly up, ah, oh, that looks great guys, this is a great posture, you look at your peers and you just notice what happens without intervention, so we, we really have to do these postures because the body is drawn forward so frequently. Inhale, as if you're breathing into the upper back, which you are, you're breathing into that rib cage. <sighs> Exhale, lower yourself like you're putting down a beautiful string of pearls again. If you want to do bow pose, it's here for the taking. If you need to do a child pose instead, do the thing that you need to do. You have full permission for me to honor your body. I'm never judging. It's not about ego. The, the only way I would judge is that I'm so glad you're listening to your body if you do the pose you need to do. So lift, that, uh, lift, lift up with your inhale. Five, four. And this, just think, how little effort can I put into my pose? It's contrary to the way a lot of us think. So it's a great chance just to be lighter and let go. Sometimes less is more. Inhale, lift up. Put your feet into your hands. You know this from sports where if you over contract, the uh, performance isn't as good. So you just use the muscles you need. Inhale. And that felt great. All right, our very popular, very famous child pose. If child pose is not for you today, just do puppy dog pose with your booty in the air and then drop. If you're a child poser, put your hips back and either choose knees in or uh, knees wide. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go back to the belly as a way to get into rotation. The thighs go back, your right arm goes underneath your right armpit and your left arm opens up. So your hand is now on your thigh, your left palm's open. And five. Four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale. Now we're going to roll belly down. We're gonna take it to the other side, take your arm through. Now, this is the rotation. Your right arm goes out. Your left hand is on your right thigh.
five, four, three, two, and one. And you can come back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a hamstring stretch. If you would like to use a strap, this is a great chance to use it. And just gonna hold about five continuous cycles of inhale and exhale, uh, which is about 30 seconds, just depending. So just touching the hamstring here, making sure it's the belly, not the knee, not the sit bone. Very good. I like how you're intuitively finding places that are good for you because it's maybe across the midline or open. And that probably feels really good on that foot that's injured because that hamstring, yeah. So just find a place that feels good and no pain in the booty of the knee. Shoulders relax. As you're ready, take the other foot up and I'm just gonna keep my strap up and then put that foot in. Ah, lower the other leg if you can handle that. If it's too much and your back starts to curve off the mat, you can bend the bottom knee as well. I'm gonna deliberately pour it though to get that psoas into a relaxed state. Now, as you're ready, you can let that go. And we're gonna put a block underneath this if you have one. If you don't, um, you can use a pillow or you can just rest in Shavasana. But here's the block. Oh, I have a roller, sorry. I, could, I should have said roller, block or roller. Roller, I've got mine uh, horizontal. If you wanna try one leg and then the other, 30 seconds each, or if you wanna just stay in a long. Now, if you're in a long legged, it's uh, the, the roller is biased more towards the feet. Now, I like to add the arms like a little uh, field goal post here. If that serves you, you can add that. That's good, Shereen. It's a good chance if you need a sweater. Now, no back pain. If you do, what usually the correction is, is that you pull the reformer closer to your heels. Hips are open, let everything fall. Five, four, three. Walk the feet in a little. Now you can lower that down and just feel how good it is and take a leg up on the wall, which is uh, good for the um, circulation. And a neat, a neat trick is to also use your roller and put the legs up on the wall. All right, relaxing. Take a moment to let go. And imagine you're at the beach on the sand and there's birds over head. The temperature is perfect. The sun is not causing any cancer at all. Beautiful blue sky. The sound of the ocean is calming your mind. You're breathing in trains with the sound of the ocean and the movement of the tide. And you can see that it gets darker and darker and that the most beautiful full moon comes out and it seems to be glowing specifically for you. The birds are getting quieter. There's a light rustle of wind in the palm trees nearby.
You can feel yourself getting deeper into the sand in this beautiful moonlit beach scene. All is well, all is calm. And just keep letting the breath entrain with the rhythm of the waves back and forth, in and out, cleansing away anything from the past that you don't need anymore, getting rid of residue, taking it out to sea. You can imagine anything you want to take with you, any, any inner criticism, any judgment, shame, old patterns that you don't need anymore that don't serve you. They may have served a time, but they don't serve you now. And you're letting them exhale out of your body, putting them on the ocean, sending it out to the deep, to the depths of the ocean, bringing in fresh new patterns, fresh new appreciations, fresh new breaths, moments of joy and gratuity. Notice how it feels to be in this safe, loving place so that you know you can come back anytime you need it. And whenever you're ready, you can gently take away the block and lower your spine and notice how good your back feels. Take your time to slowly come up towards a seated posture, lifting up through your spine and finding a long spine, letting your eyes soften or close. Imagine that you're sitting at the beach, looking out at the ocean with your eyes closed, the full moon, the waves taking away all those dense energies that you don't need, bring it in fresh. The sun's rising for a fresh new moment, a fresh new day of joy and appreciation. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you.